I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius family. Today we are going to introduce you to the Samsung S22 Ultra Phone. It comes with 8K video. Also, as a bonus in our video here today, we will show you how to get free HEVC codec. Here we are unpacking the new phone, it comes in a hard case, and if you flip it over, you will see that it has multiple lenses on the rear side. Besides the phone itself, there are a few other items you want to make sure you locate. Two of them came in the box. One is the SIM pin, and one is the USB-C cable. A third item is this S Pen or stylus, which is actually located in the phone itself. You see here, uh, we're taking it out from the phone. The S Pen also serves not just as a stylus, but also as a remote control for the cameras. There is actually a push button on the side of this stylus or S Pen that you can push to start and stop the video. It operates as a remote control at pretty significant distances. If you try to play your videos on a Windows 11, you are likely to find yourself receiving a message like the one you see on the screen here. It asks you to pay, small amount admittedly, for the HEVC codec. However, you can actually save quite a bit of time instead of going along with their suggestion that you pay for this. You could just go to the uh, web address you see here from any browser and download for free. The link is also in my video description below, so you don't have to copy it right here from the screen. In case you're not completely familiar with the terminology of this or what it's used for, the HEVC is a high efficiency video coding and the value of this is that it produces a smaller file. There's better file compression, so it will take much less storage on your computer or wherever you have your videos stored. So after I did this free download and I then tried to open my files, I'm running Windows 11, they worked. I was able to view the videos. In case you're wondering on the back of your phone which of these many lenses is which, these here we have uh, some arrows to show you. There is a wide angle lens, there is a ultra wide angle lens, uh, there are two telephoto lenses, and a laser autofocus sensor. If you're not quite able to remember this, but uh, there's some point when you need to know which one is which, the easiest way to tell is probably to have it on the setting in the camera and then hold your finger in front of the lenses one by one so that you're blocking them and then see which one of these it actually is that obstructs the view on the front side of the camera. There are other Samsung S22 models that do not come with an S Pen or if you have, have one but have misplaced it so, so you're not able to use it as a remote, there are other ways to set up remote control. On your camera, open the camera settings, find the setting and shooting methods, and then you'll find that there are choices. One is voice control, another is palm control. When you take selfies, you might sometimes choose to use the front camera because this phone of course does come with a front facing camera but you might want to use those great 8k video lenses to take your selfies or self videos right so in that case you'd be turning the camera around so that the rear side of the camera is facing you so that you are getting captured by that 8k lens but then the problem is that you can't see the screen, so you don't know exactly how that video is turning out. Is it really focused on you? Is it really capturing what you want? How do you deal with this problem? Well, you can download an app called Your Phone from the Windows App Store. After you download the Your Phone app, then you can run all of your phone apps from your PC. What we'd like to look at now is the camera app. Okay, it is there on the right. Click on the camera app to run the camera app. Then 
then click the unlock button that appears. Okay, and then you can use your mouse to log in just as if you were drawing with your finger or the stylus on the screen of your camera. And then you can also use your mouse to start and stop the camera on your phone. And it will also show you the screen on your phone so that even though the camera may be positioned with the rear of the camera, those 8K lenses, towards you, you can still see what will be on the screen for your selfie video. Of course, there are many options to explore with this camera. If you click on photo, you get, for example, the 108 MP option. Okay, so you can see here, here are many different functions on the camera. You should be aware that not all of them come with the 8K video. This is an example of the director view, which does not have 8K. So you might be asking yourself, why should I spend all this money and get 8K video? Well, it's true that 4K video still gets views, but the quality has been getting better and better. So here's an example. We got our 4K video camera around 2016. Back then, in fact, 4K was pretty good and not all that common. We got lots of views, and even now we're still getting views. But the point is that the views for 4K are going to be less and less. So if you want the, view, the videos that you're taking now to still be watched five, six, seven years from now, you should be aiming for the best that you can get now. Otherwise, it will be obsolete that much sooner. In order to handle these videos, which will have much larger file sizes than the videos produced with 4K or anything else, um, you will need perhaps also to invest in uh, either a better computer or more storage space for your computer or other backup storage devices. You can see here we have a 14 terabyte storage device. So you may be thinking that this is getting to be awfully pricey for a cell phone. Well, let's just point out that if you want to take 8K videos and you go out and purchase a video camera uh, that is not attached to a phone, you're going to be spending well over $2,000 for one of the video cameras, say, from Canon or Sony or RED. So that starts to make the Samsung S22 with 8K video seem like a pretty good deal, even at its price tag and having to get some upgraded memory space for your computer. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.